guys welcome back to my channel today I'm pretty excited because I'm doing my first collab a uh, company reached out to your girl uh, the company name is uh, new air wine coolers they reached out to me to do a collab on this wine cooler and uh, since Brittany you know Brittany helps me a lot on my channel and, and since she is um, a wine connoisseur <laughs> In her own rights, uh, I got her to um, do the review on the wine cooler. And she's going to come to you now and tell you guys um, all about the cooler and everything and what she thinks about it. Hey, everybody. Um, we're back. Well, I'm back. And this probably looks a little different to y'all. This is my apartment. Haven't been in my apartment probably since that meatball video I did on my mom's channel like two years ago. But um, this is the new uh, 23 bottle wine for, uh, wine cooler by uh, New Air. It's very sleek as you see, very sleek design, very compact. You can put it on a table as it is here. Um, as the compact as it is, I think it could also fit underneath like a countertop if you have one. Um, it's got a stainless steel design, a see-through uh, panel. On the top, it has a power button, it has a light button, the light is on now, you can see it's like a very sleek blue light that I really like. Right here you have the um, temperature settings, I have it set to 41 degrees. Um, interesting, uh, not an interesting fact, but one thing I want to say about the temperature. Um, I have the temperature set to 41 degrees. Wine typically is anywhere between like 40 to 50, 55 degrees typically. Do not ever put your wine in the freezer. I learned that the hard way. Um, on my birthday last year, we stuck a couple of bottles in the wine, I mean, a couple of bottles of wine in the freezer trying to get them quick, uh, cold quickly, and we had a mess because they exploded. All over the freezer. Um, oh so God. never put uh, wine in the freezer. Uh, the water in wine will expand, and it'll if it has a cork in it, it will pop the cork out, and your bottle Ooh. will explode. Great. So, good tip. Um, back to the um, the refrigerator or the cooler. So this wine cooler here holds 23 bottles. It has removable racks which is really good because you know some wine bottles are very large or some of them are abnormally shaped like this one here this is um, a bottle of rosé that is this is an atypical wine shape you see it's very slender at the top but the bulb is very wide so if you have um, wine bottle shaped like this or you want like a very large bottle the fact that you can take the um, the racks out will is very helpful because then you can fit the larger size bottles in there. It has four um, racks, um, four no five racks. Sorry, one two three four five five racks. The racks have a little groove in them so the wine sits comfortably in there. I'm not sure if you can see the little grooves in the um, cooler, but it's like a wine bottle. Yeah, it is kind of shaped like a wine bottle, like a little, like a little wave, kind of. Yeah. And um, again, at full capacity, this can fit 23 bottles. I don't have 23 bottles in here now. I always have wine on deck, um, just for whatever reason. Wine is something I find that always comes in handy. Or if you have guests over, you can offer them some wine. If you um, have a friend whose birthday comes up and you know, you forgot about it, it was sort of last minute, you can grab a bottle of wine um, out the cooler, here, happy birthday. If you get invited to um, somebody's house for a game night or a dinner or anything like that, you know, it's not polite to show up empty handed. Again, grab a bottle of wine out your cooler. People don't typically care the con, they just appreciate that you um, brought, they just appreciate the gesture, appreciate that you brought a gift, because it is you know, this is south, this is rude. They'll be talking you can talk about what you let on what you leave for not for coming to somebody's house empty handed. I personally typically like sweeter to semi sweet wines. I don't really like dry. Um, I can do a little dryness but not super dry. 
Um, so that's what the majority of these bottles in here are, is to is some sweet to semi-sweet. But of course, you know, you buy bottles to whatever your preference is. Probably the driest one I have in here is this bottle of rosé. Um, and uh, I think it's the cutest bottle to me. <laughs> My mom would say this is the cutest bottle. I think it is too. Um, rosé is, um, if you ever, I don't know if y'all drink rosé. But if you do, you know, it can come in a variety of drynesses. It can be very sweet or it can be very dry. This is a drier one. Um, it's kind of one of the reasons why I still in here. <laughs> uh, don't you want to get a warm place? Yes, we're going to close the door. Um, and another thing, you'll see that the temperature on the um, cooler has gone up. That's because I had the door open. But it will drop back down to its desired to the, the temperature to that on. I have it set to. It's very easy to set as well. The, um, everything is touch. The buttons are touch. Um, but I think this is a very good product. I'm really enjoying it. I'm really glad um, they reached out to my mother. This is, we were pretty excited to see her get a collaboration. They were like, oh my gosh, first collaboration, even though she's been on YouTube for two years. But it was exciting. Um, uh, the link for this fridge will be in the description box. Um, also, in the description box will be a discount code just for my mother subscribers. If you um, want to pick up one of these fridges, you use her discount code um, and you will get $45 off of this cooler, if I'm not mistaken. I believe that's what it is, $45, which is okay. very exciting because that's a great deal. I mean a wine fridge, I mean a wine cooler. But what about, don't they have more than one size when they go to the store? Yes, they do have more than one size. Um, that is a good point. They have some that are much larger than this. They have some that are a lot smaller than this. So if you are a person, this is pretty perfect for my um, apartment. This is like the great, uh, the perfect size. But if you have a house, a larger house, you may want like a 50 bottle holder, 75 bottle holder. If you have um, a you smaller a apartment, <laughs> right, if you have a smaller apartment than I have, maybe you have a studio apartment or a one bedroom apartment, you may want one. I think I saw one that hold, hold like 12 bottles of wine. You may want one smaller like that. And that is even more so compact, you know, when you have a smaller apartment or when you have an apartment period, spaces. A commodity you know you want to make the most out of your space that you can get so I feel like no matter what size home that you have this will be a great product for it we're gonna use some of these because my parents are here visiting me in Florida so we're gonna have a little get-together have some guests over under yes, 10 under 10 because we still quarantine <laughs> we still quarantine and we're yeah. COVID is still and out there, especially we're practicing here. social distancing, but right. I got some that won't see me when I come. So, yeah, COVID is still real, y'all. Keep wearing your, your your stuff and washing your hands and um, sanitizing everything as you should, um, as the CDC says. And you're going to show them your little setup with the, with the table there for me? I am. We so, this um, video? again, everything for this cooler will be in the description box. Please go check them out. And when we come back, we, I will show you the setup that we have for our guest. And then I will end my video, guys. Uh, either I let Brittany go ahead on the end, but I want you to show. I want you to. I want her to show y'all the little setup that she has. It's really neat. I know she likes to entertain, and I don't know where she got that from. <laughs> I don't know where she got that entertainment, but but since everything's going on like it is, and they're not in the, you know, not able to go to the clubs, and I probably don't need to be in the clubs, this was. This little fridge was right on time because she do love to entertain and have little card parties or just, um, I think she have girlfriends over and they just watch television programs. Mm -hmm. So, uh, <laughs> okay. <laughs> well, okay. Anyway, guys, we're going to go in and, and uh, let Brittany show you her uh, setup and then um, we'll be right back. We'll let Brittany end the uh, video out. So, we'll be right back. Okay, guys, we are back, and since this Britney's this Britney's little uh, dinner party, I mean little cheese party, I'm gonna let her take it from here, you guys. Okay, everybody. So here is my setup. I made a charcuterie board. I really like making these. I think they're so cute and so fancy, <laughs> and like there's just an easy way to put all your snacks together. So 
Here I have some strawberries, some crackers, some, I love this stuff, olive antipesto. It's um, some black and green olives, cheese, some roasted tomatoes, and like a vinaigrette. It's very good. Did you get that from the fresh market for me, guys? I got that from Publix. Okay. I have some salami wrap cheeses. Um, these are some different crackers. These are like these corn crisp crackers. They're very good. I'm trying not to touch anything. I know people are going to be eating this. <laughs> um, I have some candied walnuts. Over here is sliced salami and pepperoni. Some cube cheese and some grapes. Up here, this is some, I'm not quite sure how you pronounce it. I don't know if it's cambray or chambray. Uh, it's a very soft cheese, very good. It has this drizzle on top of it. It's this apricot paste. Very good with it. I have some cashews. Um, some ginger cookies that are very good. This is a port wine cheese ball. has nuts on it. Y'all have probably seen those before. They sell them in most um, deli sections of most grocery stores. They're very, very good. Um, back here we have some of my personal favorite um, black bean hummus. I don't like traditional hummus. I don't like chickpeas, but this black bean hummus stuff is A1. Back here I have some chocolate that you can't really see. I don't think. Can you see that? No. Um, they are some chocolate covered almond clusters. That's also very good. So you have basically a full meal. You have your dessert, um, your salt, your sweet, your meat, your cheese, all in one. I I like to entertain um, you guys. I, I must admit I caught that bug. <laughs> um, this is all my stuff. Believe it or not, it's not my mama's. Well, some of it. Couple things in my mom's face. Majority of it is mine. Um, I have, I love these little wine glasses. I got these um, this past Christmas. Um, this is what we will be using. Aren't they just the cutest? I love the little brush rose gold um, accent at the bottom. Um, I have this that I also think is really cool. I think all my stuff is super cool. But you know, <laughs> super cool. Uh, this is a wine bucket, you really, an ice okay? bucket. Um, and as you can tell, it changes colors, which I was like, gotta have it. Um, that I stuck just a couple of these bottles of wine in, um, just so they could already be out on the table. I chose wine out of the cooler that will go with the cheese that we got, because this is a wine and cheese tasting party. Um, so in here is the rosé, and I have a Chardonnay, and I have some Prosecco. Which, you know, Prosecco is like a sparkling wine, almost champagne-like. Mm, um, sounds good. You have some cheese knives um, for our settings. These are some Moscow Mule mugs. That's my favorite drink, um, you guys. I absolutely love Moscow Mules. If you've never had a Moscow Mule before, it's like an alcoholic ginger ale. So if you love ginger ale like I do, um, I just drink it. I don't have to be sick. <laughs> like some people are, they think it's ginger ale is medicine. I just like to drink it. Um, you'll love my style meals. My mother made me a cake that she brought down here with me in her fancy box. And um, I wanted to show you guys Who this. Who bought me those boxes? I bought them. <laughs> Thank you. Uh, I want to show you guys this. You can zoom in on it. This is... What I is got it? This is a wine, a cheese board that I got from Home Goods, and what's really cool about it is that it tells you what cheese goes with which wine. So um, here it has several different um, wines listed, but here you'll see it says Prosecco and Champagne goes with Brie and Cambray, which is what I have here. Um, Chardonnay goes good with Brie, Gruyere. Um, cream cheese or triple cream cheese, that's what that says. What that was with triple, uh, triple cream, uh, cream Chardonnay cheese? Chardonnay wine. Oh, okay. And what else do I have over here? Prosecco, Chardonnay, Rose, oh, Rose goes well with cheddar, ricotta, mozzarella. I have that cheddar ball there. Chardonnay, I just like Chardonnay. It's that semi sweet, like I was saying, I liked. Um, and what's that on top of that uh, cheese right there? It's soft cheese. cheese. Um, it's an apricot spray. Ooh, that looks good. 
and another one um, that I it's probably my second favorite is Savon Blanc I don't have any of that here but um, that's listed it has all the different types of wine so if you want to do this uh, recreate this on your own um, you may want to look for one of uh, something like this that tells you what types of cheese goes with your wine it has pretty much every type of wine you can think of listed on here so and I think that's all I got to say to you guys I'll hand it back over to my mom well, not mom. I really appreciate you doing this for my uh, my subscribers, and might as well be yours because you helped so much on my channel. And uh, we don't, you know, I know that uh, a lot of them may be about my age, but hey, I have children and grandchildren. And like I say, this time with the uh, we having to practice all the social distancing and stuff like that, we ain't gonna take the fun out of life. You can get have little small get-togethers and stuff like that, like Britney's having. Because she had had several and she had, was having these little uh, functions and stuff before this happened. And now she had some and turned out real nice. And, uh, and uh, neatest people have gotten nowadays, it's a good thing to keep them out the club. So, I, like I said, I really appreciate Brittany giving you, giving you guys this little uh, lesson and sharing how she do her little entertaining and stuff like that. And guys, this is a 7 up pound cake. I got this on my channel. <laughs> so, um, I'm going to let Brittany go ahead on and uh, close everything out for me. Since, this, uh, since I'm, at, I'm a guest in her home, and she has been a gracious hostess. I mean, she really spoils me, you guys. She really spoils me, and I'm not going to be ready to go back home, but I know I got to go. And uh, she gets real sad when I leave. I don't think I cry. <laughs> <laughs> But uh, Brittany, if you don't mind, will you um, close it out for us, guys? This, this is your okay, this is your apartment. Um, well, thanks for watching. Don't forget to look in the description box to get all the details about the new air wine coolers. Oh, you forgot um, to tell about the uh, uh oh yes. What was it? Right, sorry, right here. Um, this is a instruction manual, manual oh, you guys. Oh, this comes in. This comes in every um wine cooler. So you will know exactly how to set it up. It's very easy to use, but instructions always help. I want I want to make sure I told y'all that because I did forget to mention earlier. But um, look in the description box for all the links and your uh, discount code. Uh, like, share, subscribe this video. Leave a comment. Um, leave a comment. Oh yeah, leave a comment and let me know what type of wine is your favorite. And thanks for watching. Bye. And I'll see you guys in my next video. I'll be back cooking next week, you guys. I'll be home and I'll be back cooking. <laughs> I really appreciate y'all uh, sharing this with my baby girl. Bye. Bye.